Yoga is a quest for the truth. Yoga is a sense of connecting to what matters the most and um, what is most essential to us. And it is the thing, the experience itself is the thing that brings meaning and purpose and clarity and really tre the treasures, uncovers the treasures of life itself. You can find an amazing array of individuals who have phenomenal physical control. And none of the, none of the yoga that I'm talking about, none of the context of yoga that I'm talking about, where it really is about um, unraveling the mystery of life, un unraveling the mystery of who we are and all that we've been given. And what does it mean to move through life? Now those are questions that really only yoga can answer or something like yoga, you know, something that allows us to align ourselves and uncover the true nature of ourselves, the true nature of existence, those deeper secrets and meanings and questions. What kind of condition our body is in is almost incidental to that. You know, you look at great phenomenal beings, you don't see Mahatma Gandhi being able to do handstand in the middle of the room or the Dalai Lama or, you know, their way of being uh, had little to do with their body's capacities to do asana. You can do asana not necessarily linked to the experience of yoga. You can do have the experience of yoga and not do asana. So, you know, where is, where is a link where asana can in fact be yoga? That's what I think is, is interesting. It's very much the heart of the way I teach. And uh, there clearly is a skill to do asana that facilitates the quality that improves the quality of our perception, that in, allows us to uncover and tap in to uh, what is most essential in life.